My name is Wanua. As an archivist in Metro Nui, it was my job to study the history of this city and those who live in it. That makes me the best being to introduce you to some of the heroes and villains of the City of Legends. Follow now as we take a closer look at the Rahaga, Sidorak, Rudaka, and others who roam Metro Nui. But beware, the Vizorak are everywhere, so you had best be quick and quiet. The Rahaga are some of the strangest beings the Toa have ever met. Although small in stature, the Rahaga are agile and clever and have developed their talents as Rahi tamers. They use their staffs and spinners to capture Rahi so that the beasts can be sheltered and protected from the monstrous Vizorak. Rahaga Bumanga Rahaga Bumanga prefers to work alone, searching for those Rahi who are nocturnal or remain hidden. His staff allows him to detect the presence of Rahi, and his silent spinners can paralyze a Rahi with a touch. Bumanga searches for Rahi under cover of darkness and will sometimes burrow into the earth to wait for the creatures to come near. Rahaga Ga'aki Feisty, independent, and at home in the water, Ga'aki is always trying to prove she is just as good a trapper as the other Rahaga. She uses her staff as bait to entice the swimming Rahi, then catches them using her floater spinners. Rahaga Iruni a master of camouflage, Iruni searches for climbing Rahi among the tangled cables and shoots of Lemetru. He uses his staff to hypnotize Rahi and snag Spinner to tangle their limbs. Iruni believes that there is much to learn from Rahi, including how to relax and play rather than being so serious all the time. Rahaga Kulas Rahaga Kulas is fiercely protective of all flying Rahi and even speaks in their language at times, adding clicks and whistles to his sentences. He uses his staff to summon flying creatures and warn them of danger. His boomerang spinners can latch onto a flying Rahi and bring it to him. Rahaga Norik. Norik's fluid movements and soothing voice allow him to charm reptilian Rahi. When he is close enough, he uses his staff to distract the creatures and then traps them with his snare spinner. Norik prefers to lead by doing rather than talking and appears to be utterly fearless. <laughs> Rahaga Pooks Loud and boisterous, Rahaga Pooks believes in plain speaking and taking direct action rather than sneaking around. He captures the largest land Rahi with his lasso spinners, then uses his staff to leave an invisible mark so they can be tracked later. He truly loves the massive beasts and can teach others how to befriend them. Rudaka, Viceroy of the Vizorak, Rudaka is a cunning, powerful, and dangerous foe. Although she supposedly serves Sidorak, Rudaka's schemes are far more subtle and devious than he realizes. She relies on three major powers in battle. Her Catcher Claw, with which she can snatch a spinner out of the air and fling it back at its owner. Her Rutuka Spinner, which causes instantaneous permanent mutations and the devastating shadow energy she can hurl from her fingertips. 
Sidorak, king of the Vizorak hordes, a mighty conqueror who has led his legions across many lands and has never met defeat. He is impatient and temperamental, determined to make short work of Metronui and seal his alliance with Rudaka. A good strategist, he prefers to be out in the field with his hordes than in the Colosseum, which is part of the reason he does not know that Rudaka schemes against them. Sidorak's Rotuka Spinner causes whoever hits it to instantly obey him. His Herding Blade is both an effective tool and a means to signal the Viserac without having to speak. Viserac Kilurak The most unpredictable of all six Viserac breeds, Kilurak will fight fiercely one moment, then disappear to go hunt the next. Their spinners contain an acidic venom that can eat through any substance. The ends of their legs are razor sharp, and Kilorak have been known to leap in the air and whirl at high speed, becoming Viserak buzzsaws. Makuta master of shadows and the power behind a thousand evil plots. This dark being was responsible for the disasters that have struck the city of Metronui. He captured Taragaduma and impersonated him, using his position to virtually empty the city of Toa. Corrupting the Vaki, he used them to capture the Matoran and put them into endless sleep. It took the combined power of myself and the other five Toa Metru to stop him. And even trapped, I can't help but feel he remains a dangerous threat. 